a lot of predisposition to disease actually is in our genes. And so it's one of those things a better understanding can lead to early recognition and hopefully early treatment um, to prevent either cancers or, or at least treat appropriately certain types of disorders. A lot of what I do is um, recognition, reassurance, um, discussing the family as a whole unit um, and how that child or individual is part of that family, um, psychosocial support. It's really much more of a holistic um, attitude, I think. One of the things that attracted me here to Advocate Children's was the fact that there was so much attention putting on the value of the patient, not as a research tool, but actually as a patient. And so we're hoping to bring all the advantages of genetic research in, in, to really to bedside so that we can actually make a difference in people's lives. It seems to be somewhat of a simplistic idea of, you know, mom gives you a set of genes and dad gives you a set of genes and everything goes well. And when you study it, you realize how intricate that is and um, know that there's a lot of mistakes that, make, that nature makes. Um, mistakes that sometimes just create individual variations from different eye color to hair color, freckles, moles, those kinds of things, down to actual birth defects. And so I think a better understanding of how that um, comes about will be an important facet to understand more about how we can prevent and or treat different genetic disorders.